hello everyone I think we're already rolling here so welcome back to my channel today is a fun video a really fun video today is a collection video out of all my videos on YouTube that I enjoy doing I absolutely enjoy doing collection videos part of the reason why I enjoy doing collection videos is because it's just a way to kind of keep track of your collection kind of a way to catalog your collection and remember what you had in your collection at a certain time and at a certain point in your life so today we're going to be doing a vintage coach handbag collection video yay i'm excited i love vintage coach bags and i have to say this is i don't want to say one of my most requested video this is my most requested video of all my handbags i don't know why people love when they comment on some of of my older vintage coach handbag videos they love requesting to see a full collection video also I have quite a few bags several bags and not as much as before but I still have a lot of vintage coach bags so I would normally break up a video in two parts if it's gonna be too long but to me when you're watching a handbag video it's just more fun if you see the collective wealth of the entire handbag video in one video. You can always watch a part one and anticipate and look back, look forward to a part two of the collection video on the person's channel. But to me, when you watch that collection video and you just watch and see all the bags together, it just makes it that much more juicy and that much more spicy. So grab yourself a drink, a cup of coffee, a glass of wine, a bottle of water, something because we're going to be here for a quick little minute talking about these vintage coach bags. Okay, let's go ahead without any further ado. Let's get started. Let's jump right in. So I figured I would start with bags that I had when I was younger and that way I could kind of tell a little bit of a story about them really quickly and one of the first bags that I wanted to talk about because vintage coach is so reminiscent for me of growing up I love talking about the bags that's why I fell in love with handbags a, a coach bag was my first bag when I was 15 16 years old I tell this story all the time but I have to tell it again for new people coming on the channel my sister bought me a vintage coach dinky bag when I was about 15 16 years old and it was red and I fell in love with it I wore that bag everywhere I'll try to insert a picture if I can if not I've shown it before on my channel yeah I think I can I think I'll be able to insert a photo of it but nonetheless I love that vintage coach bag and that's why I always say be careful with red vintage coach bags because I remember as much as I love that dinky bag the red leather ran against my white sassoon jeans and if you grew up on vintage coach and they were your original handbags then you'll remember that back then vintage coach bags were a popular well they weren't vintage back then they were coach they were just regular coach bags and they were the popular bag in this area where I live and I have to say it in the Midwest the high school that I went to all the girls carried coach bags and it was it was an it girl thing and I wanted to be a part of that and I unfortunately you know my and I luckily my sister wanted to be a part of it and my sister treated me to that first bag and I fell in love and as time passed my college years I ended up purchasing a duffel sack just like this one now this is in the lovely red the duffel sack that I had when I was younger was black and I used that vintage coach back then it was just a regular coach duffel sack I remember having that bag and using it as a purse but I also ended up carrying my college books in that bag so I don't want to date myself but hey we're keeping it real here it was in I was in college in the 90s so in the 1990s I had that black duffel sack same one like this style number 9085 and I carried all of my coach I remember I had all of my coach like biology 101 or whatever my 101 level classes were my freshman year and going into my sophomore year of college I carried the duffel sack as a book bag 
to school. I drove a Ford Escort and I carried my vintage coach duffel sack. I remember driving and looking over at it in the passenger seat. Nonetheless, I have this beautiful red one right here. This is what it looks like. All of my vintage coach bags are in very, very good condition. Part of the reason that they're in very, very good condition is because, let me go ahead and move on to the second bag. I don't know how many I have. You can count, I didn't count them. We'll count them after the video. But let me move on to the second bag and then I'll tell you a little bit more about the Vintage Coach uh, duffel sack or bag. I forgot what I wanted to say. <laughs> okay, next bag is going to be the Willis, the Vintage Coach Willis. And I do have a Vintage Coach station bag key fob on it. And this is the Willis and I like ca carrying it with the station bag key fob on it even though it's the Willis and I do have a station bag but I like the key fob on the Willis uh, this is the Willis this was one of the popular bags like I said in the in the 80s when I was in high school and in the 90s when I was in college and I'm not a, I'm not ashamed to tell my age because I think I'm doing good for my age <laughs> so that was around the time that I carried this particular bag not this one but I had this in gray I had a Willis bag in gray um, a prairie satchel bag. I had a prairie satchel bag in gray and that was around the time when this Willis bag was so so popular. Back then people wore sassoons. I remember wearing sassoons. I remember wearing, do you remember Pierre Cardin? Pierre Cardin jeans. Sergio Valente jeans was hot. Lacoste Lacoste was hot. Lacoste is hot now, but Lacoste was really hot back in the 80s and in the 90s when I was in high school and in college. You would have on your little Lacoste with the alligator, you know, uh, uh, what did they call it? Lacoste. Izod. You would have your Izod shirt on and you were a preppy. You would wear your penny loafers and that was just the way we rocked it out in those times, you guys. And the coach was an essential part of that. So this is my Willis. Next up is going to be the Vintage Coach Station Bag. Now, I didn't have one of these growing up, but of course I always wanted one in my collection. So I wanted to make sure that I added a station bag to my collection. I was telling you girls earlier that one thing about the Vintage Coach Bags is I amassed my collection years ago, several years ago, about five, six years ago, and I added to it, you know, I added a few after that, but I started re-emassing my collection back then. Now, five years later, this is a different time. It's not as easy to pick up these bags. I'm not saying that it's impossible to find them, but if you find them, condition is always an issue. Just like vintage Louis Vuitton bags, can just like anything condition is always an issue when you're looking for on the market or when you're thrifting vintage coach bags you may not always find them in the best condition and if you go ahead and try to purchase them off the pre-loved market if a person that is buying to sell on eBay or Poshmark or Craigslist has a vintage coach bag and they've cleaned it and conditioned it and now they're trying to sell it a lot of times since they did the cleaning for you they're going to jack the price up and the prices of the bags nowadays to find one in good condition you know some of these bags are 200 300 400 dollars on the internet yes that's high yes some of them are overpriced but some of them are worth 200 250 300 dollars because because of the age, number one, because they're so hard to find, number two, and number three, because the person that is selling it to you probably already did the time and took time to clean it and condition it, as opposed to if you found a bag or purchased it at a consignment shop or a thrift store and they sell it to you for like $80 and then you bring it home and clean it, okay, you can knock the price off of it a little bit. But if you purchase it and it's, you know, from a, a, a what I call a hunter or you know, a hunter is somebody that goes to the thrift stores looking for valuable items. They're hunting. They're trying. They're a thrifter, but they're also they're also a hunter. They're looking for Limoges. They're looking for Tiffany. They're looking for Roseville pottery. They're looking for McCoy. They're looking for sterling silver, anything Mark nine two five. They're looking for coach bags. So a hunter, if a hunter finds a vintage coach bag, you better believe if they list it on 
Poshmark or eBay, they're going to jack the price up. They're not going to sell it for $45. They're going to clean it and condition it and sell it for about two, three hundred dollars So that being the case, vintage coach bags are very hard to find now. On the pre-loved market, if you do go ahead and find them, they're going to be pretty costly. They're going to be a pretty penny. Um, so this is my station bag. <laughs> I love this bag in my collection. Okay. The next bag up is going to be the Coach City bag. Now, I didn't have a Coach City bag growing up, but my sister did. She had a city bag or a version of a larger city bag in the British Tan. British Tan is such a beautiful, old school, vintage color for Vintage Coach. We all know Vintage Coach came in so many different colors. It came in a bone white color, black, mahogany, tobacco forest green, bottle green, red, tomato red, all different colors for Vintage Coach. One of the classic old school colors that if you was rocking Vintage Coach back in the 80s and 90s, you was going to make sure that you had a British tan Vintage Coach bag. That was just one of the happening it girl colors for Coach back then, the British tan. So everybody had British tan. They had black as well. And like I said, this is the city bag. My sister absolutely loves this stuff. Style. So that's my city bag. Okay, next bag up. I'm going to talk about these two at the same time. The reason I wanted to talk about these two lovely bags, they're the stewardess bag. The reason I wanted to talk about these two lovely bags at the same time is because I acquired them in my collection the same at the same time. And I remember going back and forth with this brown one because initially when I purchased both of these stewardess bags I th did I say city bag just now okay I want to make sure stewardess bag is what we're talking about sometimes I get ahead of myself and I have to slow myself down because when I get excited about something that my passion is in I talk really really fast so sometimes I have to slow myself down but the stewardess bag right here I remember when I found these two beauties I paid for them but I found them at a consignment store we're gonna talk some more about that but when I located these two beauties at a consignment store and I shouldn't say found because I had to pay a pretty penny for them but when I located them at a consignment store I almost left this brown one because this brown one is stiff it's a more stiff stewardess bag and you can't really see condition through a camera lens you can just go off of based off of what I'm you know explaining but I'm gonna try to show you this one is more pliable the black one is like more pliable I hope you could see that I hope it translates through the screen the brown one is more stiff it's a little bit more stiff than that one and this is our early stewardess bag even though I located them at the same time from a consignment store they may have came from the same woman's collection that sold them to the consignment store but this one is an older bag it's a New York bag and initially initially I almost thought this was a replica until I real until I really I almost thought this was a replica until I really really learned and known found out that this is a authentic authentic vintage coach bag it's the stewardess bag what I love about some of the bags and some of the New York bags some of the early bags is that the brass is actually marked solid brass so you won't be able to see it on camera if I try to show it to you but just trust and believe I did show it in others of my videos I'll try to insert a photo on the back of the brass of the buckle it says solid brass on this bag and I love that I love the details of it the craftsmanship of it and I just absolutely love these bags another reason why it's harder to find vintage coach bags these days is because a couple of years ago coach did a line of bags called remixed remastered and remixed coach did a line the coach company the retail coach company did a line of bags called coach restored and remixed and in that line of bags coach basically sent their employees around the world and i'm not making this up this is true facts coach sent their employees some of their employees a team of their employees traveling around the world to consignment stores to thrift stores to antique shops and any vintage coach bag that they found out there that was authentic of course 
they brought back to the coach retail company. They brought back to their factories and they did the work. They cleaned them. Their artisans worked on them and cleaned them and sold them. And this is, you can still see these bags online. To this day, the coach retail company has some of the coach remastered, remixed the bags on their website online. And you'll see the prices of the stewardess bag, the legacy bag. They're $595, $695, $495. So coach sent their team of hunters, their team of thrifters, their team of antiquers out in the world, all over different states, to different antique stores, thrift shops, and they pulled in and bought and purchased all the coach bags that they could find, brought them back to coach. Coach had their artisans work on them and buff them up and use saddle soap and apple leather cleaner, the same things we use, and polished them and resold them, and they're selling them on their website right now. So that is another reason why it's so hard nowadays to find a vintage coach bag, because you have people that are selling on eBay that are thrifters that are selling and finding and pulling the bags to make a profit. They clean them up, they sell them for more. They might pay $25, $45 for it. They might sell it for $85, $150. Then you have the coach company that pulled these bags and brought them back to coach and fixed them up. B paid little bit of nothing, $45, $65 for them, and now is selling them online for $495. $595. So that is another reason why vintage coach bags are either number one, hard to find, or number two, if you find them, they're pr the prices are jacked up. So I'm happy that I have these two beauties in my collection. And you guys, when I tell you, I had even more coach bags than these, but at some point I didn't want to be hoarding. I didn't want to be hoarding. I didn't want to be a hoarder of vintage coach bags. I just wanted to keep and have the ones that I really love in my collection. And I just wanted to have good examples of each of the bags. So that's why, you know, I kept this one in the brown mahogany, mahogany, and I kept this one in the black. So I have two stewardess bags right now, and I absolutely love them in my collection. Whew. Okay, you guys still with me? We got a few more to get through. Let's go ahead. Let's keep it moving. So we talked about the stewardess bag. So being that we talked about the stewardess bag, bag this is a kind of similar silhouette. I figured we would go ahead and talk about the Courier. If you're an oldie on my channel, an oldie but a goodie, you know how much I love the Coach Courier. The Courier, this bag right here, along with, you see that bag right here behind me, my Louis Vuitton Multicolor Speedy? That was one of my dream bags, my Louis Vuitton Multicolor Speedy, as well as for coach, this was always one of my dream bags because even though I didn't have this chat, this even though I didn't have this bag when I was younger growing up, when I was younger growing up back then, I didn't even know about the courier bag. But as I became an adult and I love handbags and my love for handbags started to grow, when I learned about this particular courier bag, I wanted one so bad it became a dream bag for me but I never thought I would have one in my collection for all the reasons that I mentioned earlier every time I would find the courier bag in good condition it would be like $595 it would be so expensive not you know $595 some of us LV ladies and some people that are you know spending some on bags okay you know that you can get it I'm not saying it's not reachable but that's still a lot of money okay so you know if you decide that's what you want to allocate and put those funds aside for a $595 bag so at the time I didn't want to spend $595 on a bag but eventually I found one at a pretty good deal where I said, you know what, that's my dream bag. It's in such good condition. I got to go ahead. I got to go ahead and pick it up. And I was lucky and able to pick up this beautiful bag, the Vintage Coach Courier. We have to talk about the Coach Retail Company again because a couple years back, Coach redid the Courier. 
This time around, they did it with a white stitching around it. So it, the, the newer one is trimmed with a white stitching. And it's a beautiful bag as well. I just have to say for my preference, I, I prefer the vintage one. I'm not really fond of the white stitching. But they also have a Coach Courier carry-all that's a newer Coach version of the Courier. And I'll try to insert a picture here. That's a nice bag as well. But this is the original vintage Coach Courier that was one of my dream vintage Coach bags. I have a lot of dream bags that I, you know, want to aspire to. But back then, a couple years ago, this was one of my dream Coach bags. So this is the Vintage Coach Courier. I have to say every time I put this bag on camera that this bag feels like a horse's saddle. It's that thick and durable. The leather on this bag feels, I have a pillow in there. I have a purple pillow, so that's what you're seeing. That's what I have it stuffed with. But this bag feels like, just imagine a horse's saddle. The thickness and the durability of the leather, that's what this bag feels like. And I'm sorry, you guys. I love it. My passion comes, tr my passion comes through when I talk about these bags because I love them so much, and it's so reminiscent of me because it takes me back to my teenage and my 20s and just so many memories with different things that I was doing at a certain point in my life when I had these bags. Different cars that I had when I was carrying a certain vintage coach bag, different jobs that I have worked when I was carrying. A, back then it was just a coach bag, but I'm thinking back on it now. Now, thinking back about different jobs that I had when I had a certain vintage coach bag. The, my schooling, my education, what college, what high school, you know, where I went to and sat in different classes at with my vintage coach bags. So they bring back so many memories for me, these lovely vintage coach bags. Okay, we have a few more to get through. I'm going to try to do three together and talk about them real quick so I don't keep you here all day. <laughs> So here are three lovely vintage coach bags and I absolutely love these in my handbag collection. These I fell in love with because they are top handle and I love top handle bags. I love satchels as well as top handle bags. Those are some of my favorite silhouettes of bags. I like hobos. I have a few hobos in my collection, but don't, don't kill me you guys. Those of you that hobo is your favorite silhouette. Hobos, I like to use a hobo, but I have a few of them, but they're not my favorite silhouette. I have to say, for me, personally, my favorite silhouette is top handle or satchels and with the crossbody, with the crossbody option. So all three of these, I had to pick them up and get them in my collection, as well as when I was amassing my collection, I was so happy that I was able to amass different colors for Vintage Coach, because I think all the colors are so beautiful. So I have the lovely court bag right here, and... I have a video on my channel where I talk about this lovely court bag and of course we know that the vintage coach court bag became super popular a couple years back when Louis Vuitton did the Pochette Matisse. When Louis Vuitton did the Pochette Matisse so many women went back and because of the silhouette being similar to the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse with the top handle. Uh, people were saying that Louis Vuitton was copying off a coach because they came up with a very, very similar silhouette bag. All different ty types of things were being discussed, but they are similar in the silhouette. So I absolutely love my vintage coach court bag. And what I will say about this type of co coach bag is when you look for one on the pre-loved market, just... Be careful because like mine, this one is in such good condition that the top handle, if you notice, when I pull it up and carry it, it's going to be weighted down if it's stuffed or if you have something in there. But it also can be pushed back down in that straight position. It's not too worn out. Sometimes you'll see the court bag where this handle will be, you know, used so much that the handle keeps, like it, this is the manner, the handle on the court, sometimes if it's used a lot, will have this shape and it'll stay upright. It'll stay upright. It won't go back down 
you know, um, I like when I find one and the handle can go back down in the down position, you know, but sometimes you're going to find them. It's still a nice bag if you find it and the handle stays in the upright position like that. So just something to think about with the Vintage Coach Court bag. Absolutely love it. Has a strap and all of that. More than one pocket. I'll go in more detail and I have tons of videos on my channel that go in more details with these bags. But for right now, I just wanted to show my collection. So this is the Vintage Coach Court. Next up is the Regina. Now I have to talk about the Vintage Regina. I absolutely love this Vintage Regina bag. I have to admit, I have to be honest, I do not carry this bag very often because of the size. But don't let the size fool you. It is a little bag, but it can hold a lot. I'll link videos down below where I show how much this little baby can hold. It can carry and hold a lot. Beautiful. The Regina is such a beautiful vintage coach bag. And it does have a back pocket, even though she's little and small. She does have a back pocket. The court has a back pocket as well has a back pocket and a flap as well. And then we have the Manor, the lovely vintage coach Manor. I have to say that I absolutely love this bag because unlike the Court and the Regina, even though I love those two, you're gonna be able to put the kitchen sink in the Manor. You can put everything. This bag is so big. It can hold so much. It's expanding. There's so much room in there. Unlike the what I want to say. Unlike the Regina. The Regina has raw leather under the flap. The Manor has hard leather under the flap and so does the Court. The Court has hard leather under the flap. It has, you know, the same hard leather under the flap. Smooth leather, I should say. Smooth leather. Whereas the Regina has the raw leather under the flap, like the interior of the bags. But I absolutely love the Manor and this bag. They're all crossbody. You can use them crossbody even though they have a top handle as well. No feet at the bottom. Just absolutely love this bag. No feet at the bottom of any of these. Absolutely love all three of these lovely Vintage Coach top handle bags in my collection. Okay, the next bag. Okay, the next bag that we're gonna talk about is this baby right here, the Vintage Coach Taff bag. Now I have to say, I'm gonna talk about the Taff and the Rambler at the same time, and this is the large Rambler. I have to be honest and say that years ago, when I initially talked about these bags on my channel, there was no other large Rambler on YouTube. I was the first <laughs> to talk about this lovely bag. Since then, with time passing, I have noticed that, you know, with time, I'm seeing more Tafts and more Ramblers. That's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> but these were some original bags that I talked about here on YouTube. And I absolutely love the Rambler in the large size. You know, I set goals for my collection. Um, and I set goals to get Chanel, a Chanel flap and I have a couple of those now. I'm setting a goal to one day have an Hermes Birkin. Of course, all my bags are authentic. So I, I'm, I'm setting a goal to have an authentic Hermes Birkin. <laughs> and when I purchased this Rambler, this was a bag that I wanted. I had the smaller Rambler and I set a goal for myself and I was like, I got to get that big one. I have to get that big one. I have to get the large one. It's a beauty. I want it. I, you know, I want to check that box off on my collection and be strategic and pick it up. And for that reason, I had to go ahead and get the larger Rambler because I do have the smaller Rambler. She's somewhere around here. We're going to talk about her in a minute, but I just wanted to talk about these two together because these are my, my original, how should I say, wish list items that I had on my checklist for Vintage Coach and I wanted to pick them up and check them off my box. And the Taft bag, the reason I got the Taft bag was because I was so lucky and fortunate that the stewardess bags that I talked about a little while ago, when I picked up the Taft bag, I have to be honest, I 
have a lot of knowledge with Vintage Coach from having it my teenage years and in my 20s. But when I ran across the task bag at that time at a consignment store five, six years ago, I didn't even know what this bag was because you have to think that I knew the common, the more common vintage coach bags, the Dinky, the Willis, the City bag, the Duffel sack, but the Taft bag wasn't a common vintage coach bag. So I wasn't aware of this bag until I found it. It wasn't on my wish list. It was just a bag that I ran across. And once again, because I wasn't familiar with it, my mind instantly goes to, is that authentic? Is that real? And come to find out it was, and I, count my blessings i thank my lucky stars that i didn't leave this bag behind because if i would have left this bag behind if i would have left this bag behind to this day i would be kicking myself for leaving a vintage original authentic taft bag i'm so glad this is a forever bag in my collection it's not going anywhere it's too doggone hard to find and if you do find it on the pre-love market like i said the sellers the quote-unquote hunters are going to have it marked up the coach retail store that have their artisans pulls pull the bags back to them are going to have it marked up so high i'm not going to want to pay again for it so initially when i purchased this bag i got it at a great price and i'm just so happy to have it in my collection and now that i have it in my collection she's really gained notoriety notoriety and i'm seeing her around a lot more now <laughs> so i absolutely love this taff bag in my collection and she's so so pretty so let's go ahead and keep moving these two big mamas these two big babies right here they're beautiful. Absolutely love both of these in my collection. Okay, since we talked about the big Rambler, <laughs> we have to talk about the smaller Rambler. So this is the Rambler, and this is the smaller, more common size Rambler. This baby, this bag feels so squishy and nice and soft. The leather is just so broken in. Really, really beautiful bag. I talked about on my channel before how expandable the flap is on this bag. So much space. This bag is like a little meaty hamburger. It, it can hold so much. The reason I'm, I'm describing it like a little meaty hamburger, let me just call her like a, this bag is like, I don't know who, I'm not a sports person, I don't know who a good boxer is right now, but back in my dad's day, like a Floyd Mayweather, or I don't know, just Ali, Muhammad Ali, this bag, because it's a little fighter. It's little, and don't take it for granted. This bag is so spunky. It's like a little boxer. It's like a little bulldog terrier. <laughs> it's tough, okay, is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to come up with analogies and find words to explain it, but it's just a tough little bag. It can hold a lot. It's durable. I mean, this bag, you're gonna have it for years. All these coach bags, you're gonna have them for years if you pick them up and get them in your collection. You're gonna fall in love with them like I have. Okay, so this is the Rambler. Let's look at the Ramblers together. Okay. Ah. So this is the large Rambler, and then here we have the smaller version of the Rambler. I think it would be good, only appropriate to show these on screen together since they are both Ramblers. So that is both Ramblers right there. Really, really nice bags. Only a few more, you guys. I think I have three more and we're done. <laughs> Next up is the uh, saddle rebag or the saddle bag. Sometimes people confuse this bag with the Patricia bag. There's a Patricia bag and there's a saddle bag. Um, I can't remember myself right now which one this is I have. I call it the Patricia bag. Sometimes I notice and think it's the saddle bag. It's one version of the two. Doesn't make a difference to me. I just know I like them. They're both very nice bags. I think the difference is that one of them has uh, additional interior pockets. 
one of them I put the re their name of which one it is right here because I know one of them has like an additional back pocket and one of them doesn't but they're the same exact bag and that's what I think differentiates them but I just call this my Patricia bag but it's a saddle bag as well so it's another one of coach's saddle bags I love the turn lock closure bags that have the turn lock in the front I love bags that have a turn lock and I love bags that have a front pocket flap. Like the Taft, I love when I find a vintage coach bag that has this extra pocket flap in the front like my Taft does. But I still love this one. This is uh, just a flat bag and it's a saddle bag. And the leather under there is just, it's coach, it's vintage coach. It's vintage coach, man. It's soft, it's smooth, beautiful. I restored all of my bags myself. I washed them, I conditioned them, I cleaned them. And this baby right here is smooth like butter. It's smooth like butter. Love, love, love this saddle bag. So it's another saddle type bag. These are two saddle bags together. The Courier is a saddle bag as well. So this is the saddle bag, the Courier, and the Patricia saddle bag both of those in my collection and I did go ahead and for most of my bags some of them have original tags but on some of them I went ahead and updated them with a coach metal tag I think the gold metal tags just look so nice with the black leather and it matches the brass the vintage brass so most of them I updated with a new hang tag like this one right here, I just put a new hang tag on it. Okay, down to the final two. <laughs> okay, so this is the last bag. Then I have one more honorable mention. This, we're coming to an end. I'm almost sad that we're coming to an end. I enjoy talking about these bags. This was another must have on my checklist that I had to check off for Vintage Coach because I loved it so much. I wanted the plaza bag. I dreamt about the plaza bag for so long until I finally said, you know what? I got to go ahead and pick her up. She's another top handle. She could have went in with my top handle bags. Also, she's a top handle like the court because her setup is the same style like the court. Her setup is very similar to the court with the top, with the handle that, you know, you could push it back down, you know. So the, both of those have the same pochette Matisse type handle, like a Louis Vuitton pochette Matisse. The plaza bag has that same handle as well. Absolutely love the plaza bag. It's a different silhouette. It's shaped you know, like a moon silhouette. It's straight and then it curves at the bottom. It's not, it's not a crescent bag or a moon bag, but it does kind of have a curved shape at the bottom and a straight shape at the top. It comes with a crossbody strap as well. Absolutely love this bag in my collection. The Plaza bag. guys whew, those are all the bags we have one honorable mention my last and final vintage coach bag Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> absolutely love this one in my collection I'm so glad to have this time capsule all of the vintage coach bags are time capsules they've been saved just imagine that all of these bags pretty much at some point might have been saved in someone's collection. People have stored them over the years in their attic, in their basement, in their closets. They may have been someone's grandmother or mother who passed it down to them. I'm not a grandmother yet and I had the vintage coach bags when I was younger and I still think I'm doing pretty good here and trying to keep it together and hold it here and you know I still can talk about these lovely bags so I'm saying that to say that these bags were hoved up and saved over the years and we still love them now today and look at the good condition that they're still in for being around for so many years so here is my creme de gras my vintage coach Kensington so this is a vintage coach briefcase 
once again a forever piece in my collection this vintage coach kensington briefcase i'm like i had to check just now i'm like are we still recording because i would hate to have talked about all those bags and not capture it all on camera but yes we are still here together you guys we made it through so this is my vintage coach kensington and I have to tell you a quick story about this bag if you missed it on my channel. The reason this bag is so, so cherished by me is because my hubby gave me this bag, okay? He's a thrifter. He likes thrifting sometimes too. You know, I know I call thrifters hunters. There's nothing wrong with it. I've hunted before in the thrift stores as well. My hubby is a thrifter as well. He likes going to the thrift store sometimes and picking up men's items. And he knows I like bags. So he picked this up for me. This was like four years ago. And no, this was like three years ago. Through about three, two, three years, three years ago. This was about three years ago. He picked this up for me. And I took it initially and flung it in my basement. This bag sat in my basement for another two years after my hubby picked it up for me. Until I finally went down there one day and said, wait a minute, I'm rediscovering my love for Vintage Coach again, and I have a bag like that. I had to go in my own basement and hunt around and look and find this bag and dig it up again. And I was so happy that I didn't misabuse it and just leave it down in my basement, like initially when he gave it to me, because this bag is beautiful and it has a story behind it. When I went ahead and went through the bag, when I cleaned it and started loving on it, I found a business card for what used to be the Sears Tower in Chicago. It's now the Willis Tower. And the Willis Tower is a building in downtown Chicago. They have law offices, business offices. They have restaurants. They have a sky deck on the 110th floor that you can look down over Lake Michigan and look down over the city of Chicago. So the Willis Tower, formerly the Sears Tower, is a landmark building in Chicago. It's a tourist attraction. They have a sky deck and all of that. And there was a business card in this lovely briefcase from the Willis Tower when it used to be called the Sears Tower many years ago. And I wish I had saved it. I really wish I did. But nonetheless, there was a business card in one of the pockets of this bag. So I mean, it's just common sense. You don't have to be a brain surgeon to figure out. I obviously at some point, somebody had this bag and went to the Willis Tower for a business meeting or somebody worked at the Willis Tower and was using this bag as a briefcase in the 70s, in the 80s, you guys, in the 90s. So I, was just, I just felt so lucky to have it. Now, the reason I think the, the person ended up donating the bag to the thrift store is because initially when I got the bag, one of the turn lock closures wouldn't work. One of the turn lock closures was broken. So I was like, okay, what am I going to do? Am I going to take it back to coach? Well, one day I took it. This was before the pandemic. So that was over two years ago. I took it right up the street here to my local cobbler. And you guys know how hard it is nowadays to find a cobbler. Those cobblers are just becoming harder and harder to locate a shoe repair shop um, or a leather repair shop. So I went in there and I was wearing the bag across me and I asked him could he fix it. And he was actually the son. His father was like maybe 80 years old. And the son was like in his 40s and he's going to inherit that business. He's carrying on the tradition for his dad. So he's a good cobbler as well. And he took it across me from, you know, I gave it to him from across me. And he took the bag in the back and all I heard was drawers opening and closing. I heard metal pieces clanging around back there and within minutes I wasn't even in there for a good 10 minutes I heard him hammering he brought the bag back to me and when he brought the bag back to me I kid you not this metal hardware piece I don't even remember which one I think it's the left one but I can't even really remember he did such a good job and the metal pieces look so much the same the piece that he repaired it with looks just like the original that the coach company uses. So apparently that's a hardware piece that cobblers 
use on leather to work on them or repair them or for these turn lock closures because I don't even know which one it was that he repaired. They, they both all look the same, but he had such a close piece that matched what the coach company uses. He did such a good job that I don't even remember which one was the broken one anymore. I think it was the left side, but nonetheless, I lucked up and now my briefcase works and closes. And I believe that's the reason why the person donated it because they probably just got frustrated that this one side couldn't close anymore. And I'm just so glad that I was able to get it repaired. And he gave me my bag for free. I tried to offer to tip him. He said, just throw it back across you. And this lovely piece comes with a shoulder strap. So I have the lovely, lovely shoulder strap for it. And I'm lucky that when I, when my hubby bought it for me, gave it to me, I'm lucky that it had the strap with the briefcase as well. So this is my vintage coach briefcase you guys let me go ahead and put the strap on it still has the tag it even still comes had the original tag and this does have a back pocket and i have taken this to work with me before for a meeting at my job i've taken this bag and carried it in 2023 so it's still being used and you could just imagine how nice of a bag that is the leather under here is so beautiful and the leather on the interior of this bag look at that British tan leather the color is so, it's raw leather and it's just quality leather so let me see if I could get all my beauties up here so we could try to take a look at some of them all together Okay, so we're back and we made it through you guys we made it through my vintage coach bag collection video I didn't count how many there were maybe I'll go through somewhere and put the number here or count how many I have right now but I enjoy all of these bags in my handbag collection it's such a joy and fun to collect the vintage coach bag. I love all bags but I really love the vintage coach bags I hope you girls enjoyed this video with me today if you're still here you're a trooper with me yay we made it through we talked about all these lovely bags Bags. and check out my channel for each and every one of these individual bags I have a video tons of videos on all of them and I'll try to link some of them down before for you girls and this was such a pleasure and it just brought back so many memories from years ago and loving these bags and like I said different my journey my journey and my journey with these bags I love you guys for being troopers and sticking it out with me remember to like comment subscribe on this video and I'll see you girls in my next video where we can talk some more bye <laughs>